you know it is possible to build a self healing distribution network one that can automatically detect faults isolate the problem and restore the power in a matter of seconds and all of this happens without any human intervention sounds like ai not quite what makes this possible is a compact but very powerful device the remote terminal unit or rtu but rtus do much more than just fault detection in this video we are going to explore what an rtu is how it works how it plays a central role in creating a smarter self healing grid In today's video we also have an RTU expert from Alceta a well known manufacturers of RTUs joining us to share insights and answers of some of the key questions throughout the video let's begin with a simple analogy to understand what an RTU really is imagine two towns separated by a river they want to exchange goods but there is no way to cross what do they do they build a bridge and that bridge becomes the link that allows vehicles or goods to move back and forth now think of one town as the ringman unit or the rmu and the other one as the control room where the scada is located these two are in a separate locations and cannot communicate directly so we need a bridge and that bridge is the rtu it connects the rmu with the scada system allowing data to flow in both the directions a remote terminal unit is a microprocessor based device used in industrial automation to monitor and control equipment at remote sites it acts as a bridge between the field devices like sensors and actuator and a central system like the scada or a dcs rtus collect data from field process it and send it to the control center and they can also execute commands from the control room to control the field devices like rmu now a common area of confusion is the difference between rtus and plcs while both are used for control they have a different roles a plc is ideal for local high speed automation like controlling a conveyor belt in a factory an rtu on the other hand is built for remote applications where real time monitoring and scada integrations are essential think about a local water pump controlled by a plc now compare that to a distribution switch gear located 100 km away that remote switch needs an rtu so the control room can monitor its status send commands and log events in the real time without rtus every fault in the network requires someone to physically visit the site troubleshoot and take the corrective action with rtus all this happens remotely and almost instantly so how does an rtu work at its core the rtu has a cpu this is the brain of the unit handling processing and communication task then it has input output modules analog input measures continuous values like voltage or temperature while digital input detects on and off signals like the positions of a switch control relay output allows the rtu to send commands to the devices like opening or closing a breaker there is also a communication interface which allows the rtu to talk to the scada system using serial or ethernet port and of course the unit needs power typically supplied through a 9 to 36 volt dc input sometimes with a backup batteries for redundancy the key components or accessories that typically come with an rtu are io modules as digital inputs and outputs uh, relay outputs analog inputs or specific modules for measurements as for example temperature currents and voltages Uh, you can even find some specific modules not only for reading inputs and outputs but with a specific function so for example an fpi module fpi stands for fault passage indicator which can identify the type of faults and even the direction of the fault now the advantages of some of the modular rtus like the elsat as one you don't have to pay for all the input and output modules you can pick and choose the total number of input and output modules that you want and you can later on add it as and when needed let's hear it more on that above from our expert you pay only for the inputs and outputs that you actually need uh, you basically start with 
a simple compact VCC Lite core and just add the plugin modules that match your project's input and output count. You basically don't waste money on unused points and you can expand later without replacing the whole unit. Now to communicate effectively, RTU needs data and that comes from the sensors. Take an RMU example. We can install temperature sensors, position indicators and current or voltage monitors. These are wired to the RTU, which processes the data and sends it securely to the SCADA system, often via the cloud-based communication. Modern RMUs when paired with the RTUs become fully controllable. You can read the switch status, trip a breaker, detect fault through the built-in fault passage indicators and interface with SCADA using protocols like the IEC 104 or IEC 61850. This video is powered by Alceta, the makers of WCC Lite, a compact modular RTU designed for real-world substations. With built-in VPN logic processing and 4G LTE, it replaces multiple boxes in one. RTUs are not only limited to RMUs. RTUs can also communicate with reclosures, load brake switches, protection relays, meters, solar inverters, sensors, and even to other RTUs. They are truly universal. Our RTU is not attached to any specific RMU manufacturer, as it can be integrated in any type of RMU by inputs and outputs, voltage and current sensors. In case RMU is equipped with smart devices such as protection relays or power analyzers, it can also be integrated using the most popular protocols in the industry. And even if your RMU isn't smart yet, no problem. LSETA's RTUs can be retrofitted into existing RMUs, transforming them into smart SCADA connected devices. When designing and improving our products, we focus on how they will be used by the end customer whether it's a utility company, a distribution grid, or a maintenance team, and how easy it is for engineering companies to integrate and commission our equipment in real-world applications. That's basically why our product is modular and expandable. It can even be used as distributed modules across different panels. However, the main idea, especially for RMUs, is to keep it compact, and include all the essential components in a small cabinet. In many existing RMUs, there's no space for additional enclosures. So our equipment is specifically designed to, to fit within those constraints. Now let's come back to where we started. How RTUs make the grid self-healing? A self-healing distribution network detects faults, isolate affected sections, and restores power automatically. RTUs make this possible. Here is how it works. A fault occurs, say, from a tree branch touching a line. The RTU detects it through an integrated fault passage indicator. It then opens the nearest switch to isolate the faulty section. Immediately after, it closes a tie line switch from a neighboring feeder, restoring power to unaffected areas. And all of this happens in millisecond and the control room sees the updated network status in real time. This not only shortens the outage duration but also helps utilities meet regulatory reliability targets and saves valuable time and manpower during the emergencies. We believe that we can give every utility the ability to deliver reliable, resilient power in an era of rising demand and extreme weather. Our purpose basically is to turn the existing di distribution network into a living self-healing system that keeps the lights on, protects the revenue, and frees engineers to focus on tomorrow's grid, not yesterday's failures, let's say. Uh, our RTU is, is essentially the brains that transforms a traditional grid into a smart, smart self-healing and more efficient system. Working together with our FPI, the fault passage indicators, it automatically detects a fault, isolates the problem by opening the nearest switch, and restores the power to unaffected sections by closing a tie switch. And all that happens within seconds and without human intervention. At the same time, it streams live load and power quality data to the control room, 
so operators can see problems forming and operate the breakers remote remotely. Acting as a universal pro protocol gateway, our RTU communicates in every major grid language. So whether it be IEC 104, 61850, DNP3, Modbus, MQTT, and much more. So any new intelligent device that you install now or later plugs straight into SCADA with no extra boxes. And uh, because the hardware is modular, engineers can snap in extra input and output cards whenever they need more signals, and basically expanding the system instead of replacing the system. And this automation basically reduces the number of customers affected by outages and significantly shortens, shortens downtime when uh, the faults occur. And the result that we achieve with this is fewer service interruptions, much faster recovery times, and overall improved quality for the end users. Mm, for grid operators, this translate, it translates into a better reliability, performance, and uh, fewer consequences tied to prolonged outages. Uh, to sum this up, uh, we believe that we can create a future-proof devices that would make the grids more reliable, safer, and smarter. But while we are enabling the remote access and automation, one crucial factor must not be overlooked, cybersecurity. RTUs transmit vital data uh, over the networks and this must be protected. And that's why solutions like the LCTA's uh, WCC Lite comes with TLC encryption, VPN support, firewalls and role-based access, ensuring that the data remains secure even in remote installations. The cybersecurity is built into our RTU from the ground up. The RTU supports encryption of all communication protocol traffic, including the IEC 104, IEC 61850 and Modbus, uh, meeting modern cybersecurity requirements for critical infrastructure. With its built-in firewall, VPN, encrypted protocols and radius authentication, the RTU ensures secure and reliable operation, even in remote or exposed field locations. If you would like to explore more about LCTA's RTUs or access their knowledge base and documentation, check the links in the description. So I hope you now have a clearer understanding of how RTUs work and how they help build a smarter self-healing distribution grid. If you have any questions or need clarification, drop them in the comments below. And if you want to dive deeper into the electrical world, check out the videos linked below. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated and keep learning. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.